I'm gonna switch my pens. I'm gonna actually use this one. Um, these are similar to the ones I have at school. So if you're here and you need to borrow one, I have these. Um, so you're supposed to do a tonal scale and a gradation scale. I have one for each color of pen so that you can decide if you wanna do blue or if you want to do black. And so for me, right, for me, um, you have to kind of decide, do you like to work from dark to light, or do you like to start light and then build dark? Honestly, I don't honest, I don't really care. I don't care which way you choose, but you've got to choose a way that is going to be most effective for you. So maybe once again, experimenting on some paper or doing some value scales will help you out. So I'm actually going to start kind of light. And so I have my pen um, on a tilt and I'm barely scratching the surface of the paper. So it's got a really nice light value. I did draw borders here just so that I can get in the habit of trying to stay in the lines. Um, but you might decide that you want to just kind of freehand this. So, you know, kind of just going off to the side here and just going an up and down motion and trying to make it nice and smooth. Try to keep those lines nice and close together. I am intentionally um, not picking up the pen, right? So it's nice and smooth. And I could use my blending stump to maybe make that smoother if I wanted to, but I want it to stay light, so I'm not gonna smudge it. And so then I'm gonna go to the next value. And instead of applying pressure, I'm just going to do some more layers. Now I made an extra harsh line, so I might want to kind of lighten that a little bit with my eraser. That probably happened because I probably either pressed too hard or I had a little bit of ballpoint pen stuck on it. So having an extra sheet of paper off to the side, um, like a sketch page to kind of clean off any little bits of ballpoint works really well. So I normally only go a single direction in the light values. So this takes a little bit of patience. And remember that you have choice. So since the ballpoint pen doesn't necessarily erase, you know, you don't have to use ballpoint pen, right? For my students who are using this for their foreshortened object, you're perfectly okay to use the graphite pencil instead because you can always fix your mistakes a little bit easier. So as I kind of go darker, I can press a little bit harder. I can layer more. And I can go a few different directions. And I have some unevenness here. So I'm gonna kind of just go back into the areas that are light, kind of darken them up a little bit, right? can also go a slightly different direction. All right? I could also maybe grab my blending stump to kind of even out some of the value, make it look a little bit smoother. All right? I'm not gonna do this last one, or maybe I'll just do a little bit over here so it's a little bit more even. So I'd like you to do at least five values. So at this point, I'm gonna be at five. Now it is okay to leave some white of the paper. Some of the tutorial videos show that, you know, it's okay to have some lines in between at first, but then you really wanna take some time to kind of smooth out your values. So 
this last one for me is number six. I want this to be as dark as I can get it. So try not to press too hard, you'll damage the paper and then it will be shiny and it will bend. So you're just gonna have to take some time to fill in as much of that tooth. So the texture of the paper, I wanna fill that in. I probably should have done a better job of trying to stay to the edges here. So then that is a stepped value. You can do this for the black as well. I have a photo of that, but I'm not gonna demonstrate that one.